one, but then you look at something like this. Oh, wow. And it's completely capped over. Mm -hmm. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Z's Bees. We're out at Peaceful Valley Hives. These are the two hives that were placed out it's to the west of uh, where my hives are. Uh, these hives filled up three boxes almost by mid-June. They've slowed down a little bit. I think we're probably going to get pretty close to having to add another box. So let's take a look. I see bees already in the top cover, which is really a good sign. There was, I think, two drawn comb in this box, and the rest is just was just the foundation. And so when I say drawn comb, that just means that they've drawn out the wax already. You can see them there. Give them a little bit of smoke. And I can tell right now that they have, I'll start on the outside. They filled the middle ones, which were already drawn out. But what I want to see is that they are drawing out. And they're interested in me. All right, so they're starting to draw out. And they're looking for places to store. So if you get the... You see it's a little bit wet inside of there, so that's good. This side's a little bit less. I'd like to see that as we go towards the center, they continue to draw out more and more. So really good, there's some weight to this. And you can see that is all, this wasn't drawn out at all a week ago. And that's all full, they're starting to draw out this side. But right now they're looking for places to store. You see their little faces in all there, and if I take it and I push in just a little bit, that's all nectar in there. So they are still working hard out here. If you want to hand me the camera real quick, I'm going to show down below. If you look down in here, you can see where the other frames are all drawn out. Those are all probably getting capped over. So we'll just continue to, I'm just curious. As we go more towards the center, you see this yeah. is almost completely full. Same thing on that side. This again was an undrawn frame. By undrawn, it means that it was just a plastic foundation. So to give you an idea, it looked just like this. And they're actually even working this a little bit. But that's all it was on there. This one here, let's see what we're doing. Oh, beautiful. This weighs probably three or four pounds. completely they're starting to cap they need some rune there's a bee right there that has his has her proboscis her tongue sticking out filling that up let's see what the one next to it looks like i think that might have been a drawn frame already here's the one in between two drawn full and then this one any little bit of room that they have they're filling so we need to give them some room. Hopefully they continue to work. Let's see what we look like on the other side. This was another drawn frame. And this will show you the benefits of the drawn comb. Completely oh, wow. full. So we are looking good. I'm going to pull these over a little bit. We'll put our frame over here back in. You see the bees didn't even leave it. Tighten them up. We'll take another box. This is just foundation here. I put a fresh coat of wax on this. These come wax, but I like to put even more on there so it's even easier for the bees to draw. Simple as this right here. Four boxes high. I don't know that this box will get full, but my goal is one, they may fill it, but that they get up there and start drawing it out. The more that they draw out, the more we have for next year and they can fill it even faster so we'll put this on we'll put the cover on and since we're filming we'll jump over to this hive real quick hardest part is keeping smokers going i run these straps for two reasons probably only need the weight but for any sort of nuisance, skunks, raccoons, bears, uh, but also weather. So let's see here. This one was a little bit behind this one over here. So I'd like to see that they're up there. 
you see a couple. There's a few that are up there. Let's see what they're doing. And this one, I don't know that we're going to have to add a box here. They're a little behind. So, again, any little bit that they draw out, they're storing in there. So they need some room, but they also need to get to work. They have to draw out some comb. And they'll do that in a hurry on a strong nectar flow. This one here, what was drawn on it is getting filled. A little bit slower, but they have a ton of room. So I'm actually going to, since we're out here, we'll just see what they're doing below. They're pretty docile. Put that there. This looks gorgeous. There's not a lot of bees up here right now. I'm just kind of interested in that. There's potential they could have swarm. I have a swarm trap nearby, but their population just doesn't seem as strong. But then you look at something like this. Oh, wow. And it's completely capped over. I could extract that today. You want to taste a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> so just take your finger right where I just, just stick it right there. Delicious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How would you describe the flavor? You're putting me on the spot. Well, I know. So does it taste floral, earthy, bitter? Floral. Floral, okay. Here's a middle frame. Look at this. My goodness. There wow. isn't much better. This is this is like the cover photo right here. Look at this, both sides. So the question is why are there no more? Let's just peek a little more. Just because I'm curious. We have it all glued down nice. There's bees in there. So because there's not a ton and it's all capped over. Oh, this one right here. I'd say 45 to 50 pounds. Easy. Wow. I could take that one today, like I said. And just because I'm curious how we're doing on population. I'd say we're just as strong as we need to be. Look at that. Okay. So let's just take a peek. There's a lot more bees in here. So this one, this is all ready for extraction. Now this is interesting. I would say that's a little bit darker honey but that's also one of our first boxes we put on. So it's probably from a different nectar source. We did nine frames here. Let's see the centermost one. Oh, it's heavy. Oh yeah. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. All right. So let's try something with this hive. We're gonna mess with them a little bit. We're gonna take the un, actually, we're not gonna add that. We're gonna take this one, which is not drawn yet. We're gonna put it here. Then we're gonna take this full box, which shifted a little bit, probably shouldn't have set it on its side. You just have to space out the nine frames. I can't shake it like I would have initially. That's back to normal. So now there's a different technique. You can call it under supering. Most people say it doesn't matter, but right now I put the super in the middle that they can work on. They just don't have to travel as far. So we'll see, we'll leave it like this. We'll come out in about another week. But right now, just based on what we have here, I'd say conservatively 40 pounds, 80 pounds, 120 pounds, 160 close to 200 pounds of honey just out of these two hives. So got another couple weeks yet before we extract. Let's hope they fill another one. Thanks for watching Z's Bees.